Hi, my name is Bill Raymond, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Azure CLI command line interface and the Azure Functions CLI on your computer. You're going to need Windows 10, the Anniversary Edition or greater, and you'll need access to the internet. Let's go ahead and get started. Microsoft is starting to embrace open standards and there is a command line tool called Bash that's very popular on Linux and Unix machines. So Microsoft's adopting that, but you need to turn it on first. I'm using Windows 10, so we come over here to this notifications area and choose all settings. In the all settings area, there's an update and security item. Click that. And then on the left side, locate four developers. Now you'll see three radio buttons, the Windows Store apps, sideload apps, and developer mode. We want developer mode. So click yes. And while it seems everything's set up now, it's not. What we need to do is restart the computer. So I'll continue after my computer has been restarted. Now that I've restarted my computer, I'm going to go to the Windows menu and I'm going to type Control Panel. And we'll find a number of different areas here. Click on Programs. And then locate Turn Windows Features On or Off. We'll scroll through here and we're going to, what we're looking for now is the Windows subsystem for Linux. It might still say beta, but that's what we're going to use. So go ahead and click the checkbox and click OK. And you'll need to restart your computer once more. At this point, we told Windows that it can use Bash, but Bash is not actually installed. So what we need to do is go to the Start menu and type bash.exe. And you'll see, uh, we'll find bash.exe here. We can run that command. The next thing we'll do is type Y and press Enter. And what's going to happen is Bash will download from the Windows Store and then we'll go through the rest of the setup process. Once the software is installed, it's going to ask you for your Linux username. I'm just going to type my name and a password. As you can see, I have a blank screen up. That's because I exited Bash. I want you to do the same thing if you didn't already. Just press the X icon at the top right corner of the screen or type exit and press enter. Now that you do not have Bash running, we're going to run it together just so I can show you the way to do this. So go to the Windows menu and type Bash. And here you're going to see Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. That's what we want. The reason for why I'm having you do this though is you might find that when you're installing other applications like GitHub, it's going to also give you Bash. And the Bash that we're using is this Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. So go ahead and select that. From here, we're going to install the Azure CLI. To do that, we're going to have to enter a few commands. Again, everything I'm about to show you will be in the comments section for the video. And there's also going to be a link to Microsoft site because they do tend to change the installation process every now and again. I'm going to paste in this command and press enter. By the way, the way I'm pasting is I'm using my mouse and I'm pressing the uh, right click on the mouse and it just pastes it right in for me. I'll go ahead and press enter. And that doesn't do too much, but we're on to the next command. Now we're going to be logging in as a super user, so we're going to have to type in our password. 
Notice it says unable to resolve host. Don't worry about that. That's really not going to affect the work that we're doing here. So I'll just go ahead and type my password and press enter. Now I'll type the next command. As these things install, you're going to look for errors, but again, don't worry about this unable to resolve host item. Great, everything looks like it installed just fine here. Paste in the next command. Great, and now what we're going to do is install the Azure CLI. Okay, it looks like the Azure CLI is installed. Let's see if we can run it. The way you run the CLI is you just type AZ for Azure and press enter. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we just did. I'll scroll back up here and we can see we typed AZ that runs the Azure CLI. And normally we'd type AZ space and any one of these commands. So it's just listing out the commands. Unfortunately, one of these commands, component, does not install by default with everything that we just did. So we're gonna go have, have to go ahead and add the component capability manually. So we'll come back down here to our command line and paste the code in to do that. I'll enter my password. There. Now we've installed the capability to use the component action as well. Now let's go ahead and test the CLI. And I'm going to do a login. So I know that I can type az space login because there's a login command right here. So this login command is what I'm typing here. Now what we're going to do is verify that we can log in. And you can see it says to sign in, use a web browser and open this page. So I'll go ahead and select this login information and press the enter key. It also says enter a certain code to authenticate. So I'll have to make sure that I copy that and paste that into the browser as well. So next I'm going to go into the browser and try to log in. Once I typed in that URL, I was redirected to the login page. And now I'm going to enter my device login code. With the code entered, I can click continue. The next thing that will happen is it will ask me to log in to a work or personal account. There, once you're logged in, you'll get this message saying you have signed in to the Microsoft Azure cross-platform command line interface application on your device. You may now close this window. So if I close this window, what will happen is the bash window with the Azure client will actually show us that we are logged in. It's saying here's your cloud name, uh, here's your login information. If you have multiple cloud names, it will list them all out. So we know that it's working and this will end the installation of the Azure CLI. At this point, you have the Azure CLI installed on your computer. However, what you don't have is the functions CLI and Azure functions are kind of like classes and you write those in Node.js, C Sharp, any other language that you're familiar with. There's a number of different languages that are supported. Before you can install the CLI, you're going to need to install Node. So let's go ahead and download Node. And again, the link for this will be in the comment section. And we'll choose the Windows installer. 
By the way, if you're on a Mac or some other computer, as of this writing, as of this video rather, there is no uh, operating system independent version of the Azure Functions CLI. So if you want Azure Functions CLI, you're going to have to do it in Windows. I'll go ahead and choose Windows and I'll save this to my desktop and run the executable. Okay, so we'll just walk through the wizard real quick. Choose Next and accept the license agreement. Click Next, choose the default for the install or you can change that if you desire. By default, everything gets in installed. It's a good idea to just leave it that way. Make sure you've got the Add to Path option because that will become in handy. That will come in handy for you. By default, it's already there, so you can just click Next, and finally install it. Once installed, click the Finish button. Now that we've installed node, we want to install the Azure Functions CLI. So we'll go to the start menu here and type node. Notice there's a node.js desktop application. If you run that, I'm just going to do that right now just so you can see it. It's a command line utility. It's actually much more than that. You can program in here. However, this is not what we want to use. So I'm just going to exit out of here, go back to the Windows command and type node again. Here you'll see there's a node.js command prompt. That's what we want. So let's go ahead and select that. The next thing I'm going to do is paste in the command that we're going to use to install Azure Functions. Let's walk through this. npm basically installs modules. It's a node package module, node package manager that will i install globally dash g the Azure Functions CLI. So I'll just go ahead and press enter. And you can see that in fact, it is uh, downloading and installing the Azure Functions CLI. Once installed, you'll see this area here that says Azure Functions CLI, and then it's gonna give you a version number. You can see we're at beta, 0.94 right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you just saw, press the like button below. Thank you.